And then the, the the brainwashing that goes on with the kids. Oh, it's amazing. They were uh, they had sure. this uh, little seminar for children, and they were talking sure. about dinosaurs. Oh, Uncle Paul. Oh, that the people that don't believe in dinosaurs. The dinosaur things, and they had like this guy singing these songs. The dinosaurs were made a thousand years ago. With uh, yeah, yeah, and and hung around with humans, and and, and like and, and the little kids are clapping, and then they ask him questions like. Uh, do you believe in evolution? They're like, no, no. God created everything in six days, and 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 there's you cannot tell them that dinosaurs are you know millions, if not billions, of years old. That fossils uh, are are uh, they they can tell where they came from, the dates they came from, bones, things like that. You can't tell them because they go because people, scientists are people, and people are fallible. They make mistakes. God, on the other hand, it cannot make a mistake, so he's right, and the people are wrong. Well, Thank you, good night. This is why they're so phony and irritating. Because now that Danny just pulled up a cool picture of a, someone showing like a Christ-like figure on a green dinosaur. Jesus, riding a velociraptor or something. As time, cool. as time went on, they could no longer deny di like dinosaurs. Right. They have to address it. Yeah, so yeah. now these these assholes are saying like, yeah, the dinosaurs hung out with people. With people, and, and it's like they they missed us by millions and millions, millions of years. Millions well, of years. They showed them actually, yeah, and and you're you're right because for for years they denied the existence of dinosaurs as science fiction, some kind of wacky thing. But then when they couldn't do that anymore, they said, well, the one of the animals, it's in the Bible, and the guy's going, do you know why the word dinosaur isn't in the Bible? And little kids, no. Because it's the same reason the word computer isn't in the Bible or airplane isn't in the Bible. It's it's a new word, but you could read about behemoth creatures and th and then of course they twist words around trying to make it seem like dinosaurs are written about in the Bible. And then they're showing pictures of of a dinosaur pulling like a little wooden wagon and helping some guy farming. That's hilarious. <laughs> it was, oh, it was a oh, it was a scream. They're shoehorning <laughs> yes. a sixty million year Jurassic era into a fucking Bible <laughs> lesson. <laughs> I, I know. <laughs> But these kids were all wide-eyed and brainwashed and being held by their parents who were just looking all crazily. Like, hey, you know, religion's one thing. You, you want some faith. Yeah, you want, come on, guys. You want a little spirituality. You want a little, uh, I don't know, insight on what might happen after you fucking drop dead. Whatever. But there is an extreme side to everything. And what I saw in this documentary was the extreme side uh, where it was literal brainwashing of, of children and, and the weak uh, the sickly, uh, the poor, uh, people that have uh, bottomed out. And that's that's pretty much what I saw. With those hands raised up and they're singing. They all know this. 35,000 people in an arena singing the same song. They all know the words. It was, and, and they said this happens every Sunday. 35,000 people fill this place every Sunday. It's church. How big of a... It's church. It's I've an seen, arena. I've it's seen, a friggin' arena. I was listening to on the radio recently. I was flipping through looking for the, the World Series. And on one of the AM stations, this black preacher was on two different, the same guy on two different AM stations. And like, I listened to him for 10 seconds and turned him off because I'm like, I'm going to wind up getting hooked on this guy. Because <laughs> he was so cool to listen to. It's like some of these guys are amazingly charismatic. Uh, they know how creatures. to talk. That's what Sam, Fuck, man. That, that's, that's what, that's what Sam Kinison did before he went into comedy. That they know how to they get do. you. They, they know how to get you. Uh, my question is, what percentage of America believes in the dinosaur thing? That's the scary part. A lot. Thank you. It's, yeah. it's that's amazing. the scary part. They, yeah. they, they, You're talking like it might be a little, little tiny percentage of people, but it's, it's widespread. We got a guy on the line that wants to talk about it and, and, yeah. and argue the other side. Oh, I know. I, we, I can't talk to these people. I would like, yeah, I would like he, to hear his argument. Here's, here's, a st here's a stat that they had. Uh, more people go to church on Sunday in the United States than attend every sporting event in the country. Sure. Uh, yeah, that it, makes it, sense. In, it, it, it's amazing. People are going to church all over the place. I yeah. know. The but, numbers haven't dropped as much as they think they have. And these, these people, oh, this one guy was smiling. There's a resurgence in Christianity and, and uh, evangelicalism and uh, blah, 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 blah. And, and just like, right. they got these weird smiles on their face. Let's say hi to Scott Scary. in Jersey. Scott. Hi, Scott. Yeah. Um, I just want to. Hi, Scott. I think that you need to get somebody on that can talk intelligently from the other side. Because I, I, I don't think you. 
you think you have evidence for what you're talking about, and yeah. you just don't. I mean, I okay. give you two laws of physics that will disprove evolution in two seconds. Oh, my. All right, well, let's go, hear them. Go, go ahead. Let's please, hear them. Please, please, enlighten, please enlighten. By the way, you're very unpleasant. I said hi to you twice, and you don't even address the way a conversation <laughs> starts. You. Calm down. I didn't hear you. I'm calm, Scott. Right. But just I, please, first, please first, explain. I'm going to explain. Go ahead. First of all, um, the chaos proof. Do you know anything about the chaos proof? No, we don't. No, no. Enlighten. Okay. What that is is that if you add random energy to an ordered system, you can't get a more ordered system. That's number one. What does that mean? Um, I'm not sure what that means. Yeah. What is that number one? Okay, in other words, evolution believes that you start with an amoeba and you add random energy and then you get a more ordered organism from it. And that defies, uh, that defies the laws of physics. That's, that's a sim that very happen. simplistic way to look at it. It, it, it is. A, it it is. You can't find, no, no. You can't find uh, any system on the universe that exists where you get a more ordered system after some, at random energy was added to it. How do you and know, how do you know an organism? Mm -hmm. hey, how do you know that an organism put in the right circumstances, the right temperatures, the right chemical bath cannot change into something else. Uh, uh, organisms are constantly mutating and changing into other things. No, they're not. You don't have any yes, evidence are. to that whatsoever. Don't, look vir viruses. don't viruses look change? Look at viruses. They change, they mutate, they adapt. Sure they do. All right, and, the, and then the second... Hold on, Brian. Uh -oh. uh -oh. Well, let's go to the Hold second on. thing. All right, yeah, yeah, okay. Might as well just go uh, to the second Yeah, you didn't address the, the viruses, thing. but go ahead. Okay, the second, the second idea is that they've, they've shown through the um, discovery of DNA that uh, you, you know that every person has two parents, and you can look at their DNA, and you can prove that they're their parents through DNA. Right. Uh-huh. Okay? Based on that, and based on the number of people that exist on the Earth, they've proven that you get the one person, if you go back six to 10,000 years ago, depending on how big uh, a generation is. Can I ask you a question, buddy, uh -huh. about the DNA? It's, it's now that you are in, in faith, you're using this scientific evidence... Don't you think it's a little selective, the way you're using scientific no. evidence? No. How, how are you going to get around DNA? How are you going to get around that? I don't. I simply don't. I I don't buy what you're how saying. How do you get around carbon dating? And you got around the viruses. How dude. do you get? Uh, how, all right, DNA. How do you get around carbon dating? Why don't you have a real creation science? Oh my on? God! I can't do how this. How do you get a, around carbon dating then? If if carbon we dating is all guessing. All it's it guessing. Guessing. it's guessing. It's guessing. Taking, taking a definite, taking. Wait, 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 wait. Hold wait, on, wait, let me finish, dude. Wait, wait, dude, 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 you're just talking over me. I let you talk about DNA. Now let me talk about carbon dating. Carbon dating. It's no, no. Let me, let me fucking comment. Holy shit! I let you talk about DNA. Now let me comment about fucking uh, carbon dating. There is a breakdown of uh, radiation. It has a set. Half life thank to you. it. Half life, thank you. Yes, I half it is life. set. Thank you very much. And 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 well, you know what? You're, and and you're, what you're... happens is they can time, they can backdate how old something is by how broken down the radioactivity in that is through carbon dating. How is that guessing, sir? Because it makes no sense on the earth. <laughs> you have levels. Listen, you have levels of of different types of of elements at different parts of the earth. You have gold at certain levels of the earth, and you can't explain how they get there based upon carbon dating. If you have, if you have uh, uranium in a certain part of the earth, they find it in all different, all different levels of the earth. If you had a breakdown of what you're talking about, everything would be at the same level. No, it's if not, because, because uh, everything, rock, rock every, shifts, right? everything it's, contains, it's everything has uh, a radiological complete. principle to it that is different than other things, and they've had these bases over the years. They know how long uh, uh, a half-life is uh, with certain elements. Stop interrupting. Holy shit, dude. You really you, do you, just we, interrupt. You, that's, that's people the, listen to you, and then you happens. interrupt. Yeah, that's what yeah. you're doing. Yeah, that's that's how it works. You get your point out, and then the opposing, you go, keep babbling. The opposing keep point, babbling. you just talk over. Because your argument is terrible. Works. You couldn't you couldn't answer the viruses. You just fucking ignored that. You no, right things don't mutate. Two. Things don't mutate. And then we mentioned viruses, they and you do. shut your mouth. Explain viruses not mutating. I'll be an yeah. asshole. Go ahead. Explanation for, for how the AIDS virus co uh, changes over and over and over again. You can't explain it either. Scientists can't explain it either. 
I, I could sit here and tell you that I believe it's God. It's a living it's organism adapting to its surroundings. That's what it is. It doesn't have to be explained. You don't have to know why it does it. It does it. I have faith. See? It's faith that a living <laughs> organism will adapt and change depending on its surroundings. So whether it's an organism or whether it's a, a primate... That is now adapting to its surroundings. Um, uh, it, it, it has to uh, move locations for food. It, it picks up things and learns. It adapts to its surroundings and becomes something else. No. <laughs> oh, all right. Well, uh, you win. There you go. Uh, good good argument. No. Two fucking seconds. Just listen up for one second, okay? Uh, you know what? You've been a We're cunt. You've been a, dude, you've been a cunt since you fucking called up, and I'm tired of We're listening to you. Listening. I'm tired of listening to We're you. We're listening to you. You've been a you twat aren't listening since to us. the moment you called the show. We've been listening to you, well, and you've been a fucking baby and a little twat. Can we ask him how old Earth is? How, how old is Earth there, Scott? Well, it, here, this is where we come down to we come down to faith again. I believe it's between six and ten thousand years. Yeah. Ago. Oh, oh my Okay. God bless. All right. You. Fine. You believe that? Okay. Wow. I, I, and you I, think, I don't even know what to say. Fair enough. Right. You you believe Anthony, that? Anthony watches Discovery Channel all the time. They just had a show on there that showed that they have evidence of people walking around with dinosaurs. They found thousands of fossils. No, they no they don't. They, there's no, no evidence. They of don't that. because they didn't because they didn't. It was on there. I watched the whole special. Well, it was probably a special on creationism. It was probably a special on creationism. Doesn't it bother you? It wasn't a special on... How do you explain the Grand Canyon being carved out of the Colorado River uh, and, and in, in, in a few thousand years that happened? How about it? it took millions of years to carve out the Grand Canyon by water, by the Colorado River? How do you explain that? Now you're gonna, you're gonna laugh at me again, but why couldn't that have been the Great Flood? Why couldn't that have been the flood that's in every civilization? Every civilization has a record of some type of flood that, okay. uh, that happened in, in life. Why why couldn't the Grand Canyon have been caught because up by that? because we've seen floods since, since then things like whether and again smaller floods like Katrina other things and they don't leave damage that resembles anything it's like erosion that. It's erosion over time is what the Grand, the Grand Canyon, the Colorado no, it River, wasn't. it's erosion over time. How do you explain glaciers that took millions of years uh, to recede and make our landscapes? How, how is that explained? It's just time. It, it, it's shit that needed millions of years to, to, to oh. happen. So... Is this the, You're throwing out millions yeah. of years like it, like it means something. That's just something that you bought. Scott, Dan, no, Scott, 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 Danny found something about your yeah, Discovery no, no, show. I, just, I, right. I don't know what show you watch on Discovery Channel, but uh, I tried finding it, and uh, what I did come across was uh, there are some dinosaur myths, like a little quiz that little kids could take on the Discovery Channel. Yeah. And this question is the first one. It says, early humans and dinosaurs lived at the same time. So I'm just going to go ahead and hit true and get a big red X oh, for my answer. Oh, sorry. Oh, despite what you so may don't have seen don't use the Discovery Channel's name like that for your own purposes. Oh, sorry, look up the History Channel. Then. Sorry, oh, it's a different oh, channel. You, uh, wrong channel. Oh, sorry, no, look, look it up. I, I, I do look up the Sci-Fi Channel. Turd? I'm amazed. Turd, turd, turd. 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 You just turd. Dude, I don't, I don't have any agenda. I don't have any agenda, a pro God or against God. When I'm talking right, about this right. stuff, I'm not too sure where I stand on it. You, you have a hundred percent. Like there's something at stake for you, if 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 your information is proven wrong, there's nothing at stake for me negative. But I would like to believe, brother, that God fucking made the planet and that you're right. I would really like to believe that. That would rule. It would be great to think that when I talk, God is actually listening to me. I don't know where I stand on it. I but you have so much at stake in this in this point being made or not made. No, no. no. Yes, you do. Of course, you do. Your entire belief system. Yeah, yeah, it is your entire belief system. Don't, don't deny that. Let me, respond. Let me respond to what you just said, okay? I don't need you to believe me. I don't mean me. I didn't say me. So don't respond to something I didn't say. Fine, fine. But here's the thing. I, I want the conversation to be that you have faith. And I have faith, and that's what it comes down to. Our faith is based more on scientific fact. Scientists, scientists have been doing this for years. Uh, your your church 
for years and years has just been using faith and recently is twisting around well whatever whatever, whatever you do, has been dude. twisted twisting, twisting around scientific fact uh to, for its own purposes dna all of a sudden now the church is talking dna exactly and fossils and and and, and th Organized, or whatever. You whatever understand. Whatever it is. You know what he's talking it's about. It's your faith is what I'm talking about. Not, I'm not talking about you going to church. Who cares about that? I'm talking about recently the church, religion, whatever you want to call it, is using scientific fact and twisting it to its own purposes. Because they can't ignore no, it anymore. Because they can't, no. uh, yeah. They can't refute it. They can't. That's not true. A lot of, of course, a lot it's of true. Secular circles. A lot of people that get into um, science, biology, and I know some biologists that are like this. They get into the field because they want to prove that God exists, right from the get-go. Now, there there are plenty of scientists out there that are from the other side. Now, you you have not listened to these people because generally the shows and the and the, and the places that you get your information from are places that you know run in secular circles. But a lot of times they have to change their theories. Because they find something that disproves their theories. I mean, I, they, they found a civilization in Japan that predates the pyramids, and it's thrown everybody into a tizzy where they don't, they can't explain the the, the breakdown, what, which is what you talk it, about. Dude, if they hold on. If they found a civilization that predates the pyramids, of course they I think did. there were civilizations that yeah, predate the pyramids. I don't think that's a big shock. There, there was Neanderthal uh, uh, civilizations and and, th and Cro Magnon and little little things like. Of I don't think that there that's were civilizations in in China Cro during the. the Cro Magnon is, is a theory. There's there's no evidence of Cro Magnon. Man. Oh, is there? Uh, what what uh, about what about uh, ancient tools and uh, uh, things like arrowheads and and things that that the cave and cave paintings things that they used. Uh, Cro-Magnon and Neanderthal. Cro-Magnon and Neanderthal, man, are just shots at, at the missing link. They have never found any... Not missing link. No, they have bones. They have skeletal remains no, of, of <laughs> the Neanderthal man. They they yes, they do. They, they, do. Don't have, they don't have any fossils. That were found around their simple tools that they used... To holy shit, you're denying there are there <laughs> there are skeletal remains. You want to believe that that exists? Go ahead, but it doesn't exist. You can't believe it wow. because it kills your theory, dude. Wow, it destroys your entire belief system. That's not true. You're saying you don't think that they have bones. It comes down to faith. No, you've never seen in museums. A skull of a Cro-Magnon man that was no, found around tools that he used. What? That's a rumor? It's no. absolutely a rumor. I've seen them. I've no, seen not. them. It. I have not. I was in the museum. I was in the Museum of Natural History here in New York, one of the biggest, the, like the premier museum of natural history. What is it? What was I looking at? What was he looking at? What was I looking at? Some kind of art project that someone made. Sometimes they do that. They have a big farce. Paper mache. The big farce. It's paper mache from a third grade. So it's a lie. So so those bones that are pawed over by scientists that visit the museum take these bones out, study them, do carbon dating on them. That's all a big uh, conspiracy. The scientists are part of the conspiracy. The conspiracy the then what is it? Let's get what Jesse is Ventura it? Then this. what's the museum displaying if I saw Neanderthal band it's bones? Just, it's just what Jim said before. It comes down to faith. It's where you start. When scientists get into their field, a lot of times... What is it that he's looking at? What was I looking Stop at? Stop with your theories. What is it? What was I looking at? I'm telling you that there's been a, a lot of different times where there's been people that have, have produced bones. It just ends up being a giant force. It ends up being a, a ridiculous thing that they just took some other bone and they put stuff together. No, no, I, I, wow. we, we, we understand those. Wow. I, I've seen those. They're, they're, they're hoaxes. You. So you're but, admitting it. Yes, you're yes. It. I've seen some hoaxes, but I'm not saying the Neanderthal. That's fact. They found them in in co little little communities of bones with simple tools around them in excavation sites. They've found this, right? And and we already talked about we already talked about DNA and how you can prove that there was only one person between six and ten thousand years ago. It's nonsense. No, 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 it's that, nonsense. Crazy. You just keep hanging on to yeah, that. Yeah. It's nonsense. You believe what you want to believe. That's fine. I'm listening to you. It's nonsense what you're saying. I believe that's 
ridiculous. The point of my call is just to say that it's faith on both sides. And you want to believe Tell yourself right? whatever no, no, you no, want. No, no, no. It's faith on your side. No, it's it's not. science you on go. our side. You believe science. that. It's science. It's backed up with science. You just, you just You're using it. science you to try to back up your side of it. We're using science to uh, uh, uncover the truth. Fact. You're not even using science, man. You couldn't end the virus I question. Gave two, I gave you two laws of physics in the beginning. That no, you didn't give no, me didn't. laws of physics. Stop you didn't give it. me laws of physics. Uh, so the chaos proof means nothing. It's amazing. The law of thermodynamics that says that you can't get you keep, you can't get matter you can't create matter from energy means nothing. No, it's a big farce created by some crazy yeah, scientist. Yeah, it's big a farce. farce. It's really selective what you believe in science. And it's then, been disproven. And you think that scientists all over the world are collaborating? Wait, let, me you, let me give you your answer. No. You, you seem to think, you seem to think that all scientists, this is why, by the way, people can't stomach religious people. Yeah. Because you talk over everybody. not religious. Whatever you are. Whatever you are. You are. You don't even know you are? If you believe this drivel, you are. You, you, you try to label me into a religious circle, and then as soon as I say that I'm not religious, you change it. But you believe this drivel, so you have to be. You want to call it drivel? That's fine. It's shit, dude. <laughs> Your belief system is shit. Yeah, yeah, right. You, All right, Scott. One, so you guys win because you get the you get the yell louder than I do and call. You've it talked over everybody. Not. You wouldn't even. You, you know what, you little rude cunt? You wouldn't even say hello when you got on the phone. You were so hyped up. I said hi to you twice. Fuck you. Because I said hi to you twice. You're a rude cunt. I said hi to you twice. I'm giving you. That's because you didn't start with a hi, oh, dude. I said hello to you twice. Keep babbling. Keep all right, babbling. All right. Keep babbling, Scott. All right. All right. Thank you, Scott. All right, Scott. Keep Thank babbling. You. Thank you. Six th Holy yeah, Neanderthals shit. are a big ruse. What a dummy. I blame the, fl the fucking Flintstones. But again, that's what you deal See? with. Yeah, how does he explain that? That irrational fucking... It, it, his belief system is so tied... He keep yelling at the radio. I know he's yelling at his radio. Yeah. But wait, the, do you know how many girls he probably could have fucked if he wouldn't oh. have been such a dummy... Are you I yelling at me? I guarantee you, I've done better with women than you've ever had in your life. Oh, oh wow. shit. Now you're re All right. Oh, shit. Okay, out of everything you've said, that fact is the worst. I I'll give you the Neanderthal argument if, <laughs> if you don't delude yourself into thinking that. <laughs> the prostitutes count? <laughs> for you, for you, maybe. I know, stupid. That was the joke. Oh, my God. All right, Scott. You got oh. Jimmy with that one. Yeah, I'm good not, good one, Scott. I don't have to tell you on that. You listen to the right show. Very, very I've, good. I've you got it. You got it. I've done better with girls than you ever have. Good one. Good one. Let's go to Steve in Michigan. Steve! Hey, guys. Hey. I, I just got to say, a douche like this drives me nuts. He's a, a douche. Christian. I'm a Christian. We don't have all the answers. None of these guys have the answers. Who knows? God could have invented evolution. Why can't they just admit they don't know and just... Have whatever faith yeah, why have. couldn't a greater uh, entity, a great uh, power, uh, God, whatever you want to call it, have put in place the makings for evolution? Absolutely. And then knowing that uh, cells nope. will divide, viruses will divide, uh, things will adapt and become other things. Why can't that be part of the grand plan? I, I'm a fan that God was a scientist. I, I like that theory. The what, what, greatest scientist of all time. Yes. Or why could? Oops. Or why, why does, not? Why does God why have to not? be a slave to a seven-day work week? Why does God have to? Why does a twenty-four hour? Why are fucking religious people such literal uh, I, irritants, well, where they think that twenty-four hours has to be what God meant by a day, instead a day, of realizing yeah. it could have been yeah. symbolic? God's yeah. day is probably one of our like millions of years. Exactly. The definition <laughs> could have been very different. Yeah. But they hang on to that literally. All right, Steve. Thank you, sir. Literally. Uh, no, no. God meant twenty-four hours because God has what up? Does he use military time or regular time? Yeah. Megan in DC. Megan. And with the whole universe, he just uses Earth's rotation around the sun as, oh! as his time base. Of course That's he does. That's God's stopwatch. Of course he is does. The Earth going around the sun. Never mind, like Pluto going around the sun, or right. some other planet, or the universe itself. Or Jupiter for 10 hours, a 10-hour yeah, yeah. rotation. How self-centered to think you're the one God bases everything you, it, on. It really is a self-obsession uh. to think that this creator of the universe really uh, uh, has exactly 24 hours a day period. Yeah. What do you think the rest of the stuff out there is, besides a big rumor, obviously? Yeah. What do you think, <laughs> what do you think, what do you think a light year is? <laughs> it's far. Oh, what children? <laughs> we created the universe, universe, right? Not children. just Earth. All right, let's go to Megan in D.C. Megan. You're right, children. Hey, hey guys, I have got a cold, so I'm not going to sound that good. Oh. This guy is so infuriating. I don't even know where to start. Um, 
First of all, one of his main points, he's using, if he has no faith in science, why is he using the law of physics to back up they, his the, point about energy? Yeah, because, because they, have, uh, ran, they ran out of answers to science. They've run out of just being able to say, well, that's your opinion, because science has become so good yeah. at proving things that now they use the science that uh, uh, evolutionists use to promote creationism because they have no other choice. So they take it uh, all half-assed, twist it around, and, and use it for their own purposes. Because for years, religion just completely flew in the face of science. Right. And then they started to look so fucking ridiculous. Yeah. And so stupid that they had to do... It's almost like addressing... And I know this guy saying, who called in said he was not religious, so I'm not going to say he's a Christian or whatever. Whatever. To, whatever. Yeah. He, maybe he believes he's not. Fine. Maybe he's not. But uh, right. like for years, they denied the sexual abuse, and then they finally had to address it. Right. This is the th They denied what science said, and then they finally had to address it because they realized how stupid they looked. Yeah. And they did look stupid, and they still do. All right, Megan. 6,000 years. Science, but they're just 500 years behind the time because he's still trying to use science to say that we shouldn't trust science. Yeah, he yeah. did yeah. try to make that argument. But yeah. What about mummies, too? Thing. Can we prove that mummies are Oh, no, carbon old? dating, they're 500 uh, years it's old. A they're, they're, carbon <sighs> dating's a guess. Is it a guess, really? <laughs> do, the, do you know the science behind carbon dating? It's not exact. They can't narrow it down to, you know, uh, the nearest tens of years uh, for the most part. But as far as millions of years ago, yeah, they get a pretty good fucking uh, hit, a hit on that. Pretty sweet range. All right, Megan. Thank you. <laughs> hey, the Christians are checking in. Uh, we got Eric uh, in Ohio. Uh, Chris, uh, right. Eric, sorry. Hey, how you doing, guys? Hi. Hey. You're speaking for a lot of Christians right now. Go ahead. Oh, Don't put the head on me. Hey, I'm a Christian with a lot of questions, and this guy's a nutcase. He's, you know, I probably don't fit in real well at any church because I have the same questions you guys have. Mm -hmm. You know, I, I, I have faith, but I also have faith in science. So, you know, I don't just turn a blind eye to it and go, oh, no. But, you know, that, that guy's an idiot. He's I think the rest of us look like idiots. He was a twat. The minute he got on the phone... Yeah. It's weird. When you say hi to somebody twice and they just barrel into it, yep. the guy is a twat. And I know you're listening, and that's why I hated you more than any reason. And I think part of uh, faith is the fact of knowing that, look, I don't have all the answers, but I have Absolutely. faith. I have enough faith that I don't need all the answers. These, these guys now are trying to come up with answers. Like, you could just say, my faith tells me that there is a God. I don't believe in cre uh, uh, evolution. I b believe in creationism. Uh, I can't tell you why. It's just my faith. I'll accept that. I'll fucking accept that. But don't try to then take the science and and right. come up with the answers that your your whole your whole faith base is that you don't have the answers. That's why it's called faith. But again, they, I think that people who who are creationists got so sick of looking like assholes. Yeah. In every right. debate with somebody who had science, that they had to come in and shoehorn all this stuff in. And it's just nonsensical. I cannot believe he would not accept the fact that Neanderthal and Cro-Magnon man bones were found in family settings with, with uh, 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 groups of people around tools, arrowheads, cutting tools, hides, just whatever was preserved with them, depending on... Where they were, the weather, mud, ice, whatever it is, they found these people. He just has to believe that people are special. And that's what a lot of that is. It's, it's this self obsession with, we're special. You're not, you know what you are? You're, You're a fucking lump of ooze that took billions of years to develop into mediocrity. Yeah. <laughs> that's what you are. <laughs> Sorry, pal. That's what you are. <laughs> wow, did you just summarize that? that? Is right. Sorry about that, but you know what? <laughs> the sun doesn't revolve around us. We revolve around it. You're trying yep. to say we're not that important, Jimmy? We're just, we're fucking <laughs> lumps of mediocrity. That yep, really goop. is it. And that's why we distract ourselves at sacks of goop. All the time. And it doesn't mean that God doesn't <laughs> exist. It really doesn't, to me, no. mean that. I just don't think our idiotic interpretation of what, right. uh, th what the creator is is correct. Right, not yet, I, anyway. I, I'm not self-obsessed enough. To think that when you look into it's space dust, which which is they, they say you know it's say twelve billion light years or or ten billion light years from here, 
that whoever made all of this said, 24 hours, let me stick these things that are five foot eight that look just like me on this wonderful place. Will you shut the fuck up? And we'll throw dinosaurs to run around with them and then die off and I'll flood. Shut up. No, you yeah, won't. the big flood. Why didn't, they, why didn't they think the dinosaurs were worthy of the ark? Were they too big? I don't. I don't know. I, I don't know why. Maybe that's why the flood was to get rid of all those pests. Maybe dinosaur shit was too difficult to clean up <laughs> yeah, and, out, of, out of the streets when they were going to visit the Lord's house. And did one guy build a boat and put two animals of every kind? He probably on got it. thirty animals. He's probably some nut. I bet you Noah was a hoarder. I bet you half the animals were dead. And he, I bet animal shit and all this weird stuff and little, little cat carcasses. Uh, hoarder. All right. Why don't we take a break? We got lots. Uh, to do today. Damn, man. No, he made us just look just like him. That's yep. a hell of a way to start big the show. Big white beard. But... God's a big white guy with a big white beard. Hey, they, got white beard. they got museums and everything where you got fucking dinosaurs with saddles on them and, you know, because people rode dinosaurs. Yeah, they rode dinosaurs. Could you imagine the American people Museum of Natural History? You walk in and that giant T-Rex that's in the lobby has a, has saddle, a on saddle on it. it. The Creation For Museum Jesus. has just that. Yeah. As soon as you walk in. A dinosaur be... with a saddle on it to prove that, uh, you know, man walked with dinosaurs. I would love to believe that. I really would. I would love that guy, as much as I disliked him personally, to be right. Does yeah. the Catholic Church believe in all that? I, I don't know. The, the, the guys in the Vatican are way too smart to buy that nonsense. Right. Uh, they're smart dudes at that level. I, I don't know. A lot, right. You know, yeah. they may argue it, but they would. I don't think they would argue it. As vehemently as, as him, because I think that they understand it's more like a business at this point. All right. I don't know how they would handle that. I'm on, uh, I'm on ChristianAnswers.net. Ah, uh, of course. okay. And they oh, ask cool. the question, Christian did Answer. Noah take dinosaurs on the ark? Yeah. And it says that the Bible does not list the names of every creature on the ark. Oh. So dinosaurs must have been included. Yeah, dinosaurs right. are there. And it says right here, there's evidence. It says there's evidence that dinosaurs lived after the flood. For instance, Job saw behemoth <coughs> after the flood. And what's that Genesis oh. concert? There's evidence right there. Is that a Genesis concert? No, too? that's from Genesis. Oh, that's oh. June 19th and 20th. Oh. Have you seen? Oh. Did you see him this Wait, summer? Wait, Job, oh. Job <laughs> saw the... Fuck Job. It says Job <laughs> saw behemoth after the flood. Behemoth. It's probably a chicky fucked some fatty. <laughs> I think I fucked her too. Yeah, exactly. Believe me, she's Facebooked me many times. The Ark was a very large ship designed especially by God for its important purpose. It was so large and complex that it took Noah 120 years to build. Of course it did. Noah used this time <laughs> Why to it? warn people about the flood and convince them to turn to God and be saved with his family. Because yeah. as everybody knows, um, long ago, you lived longer. Oh, yeah, 120 years sure. was uh, nothing. Me a bag of shells. Noah's teeth must have been a disaster. <laughs> <laughs> it's hard to keep your teeth in these times. I mean, his teeth must have been awful after 90 you or 100 he had, years. He had bad breath. Uh, Noah had horrible Unbelievable. breath. Unbelievable. Uh, why don't we...